Hey guys, how is it going? How are you all doing? I just came out of the shower and a lot of good news. First of all, Bangladesh, woo, I qualified in the same finals. We are through to same finals, England and us. We are both through and no, before anyone else, right? England made it a long time already and then they made sure that we go through also because from last night's performance by beating New Zealand, mighty New Zealand, in the way, you know, uh, we deserve to go actually. Australia is a damn good team, but then, you know, today I think they didn't score enough runs. So those who follow cricket, uh, just congratulations to all the fans out there, right? And uh, I'll show you today two aftershaves, all right? And I want to talk the, about them because uh, they are in my collection. I really like them a lot. And uh, I think they are worthy of taking a look, all right? Because uh, there are not hardly any reviews on them. So I'll talk about it, you know, because when, pe when people are doing same old, same old, I like to do something completely different. Right? So I just came out of the shower as I told you, whole day I slept, I had like, I have been knocked out by this very powerful, potent cough syrups as well as my antibiotics. So poof, I was out. So it was a good sleep. I'm feeling much better after the food and medication. And I went to shower with this Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy body shower, body gel, however you call it, shower gel, yeah, shower gel. So I'm sorry about the water is still there. And I thought like, you know, I got these and the, as well as this one. This is like the aftershave bomb, right? So this one also, I'll talk about it today. And uh, yeah, why not? We're talking about aftershaves. So thing is, this is my scent of the night actually. I I, I know this is a cold weather scent. It's raining outside, it's night time. So I'm just going with the Christian Ronaldo. Thing is, I talked about initial impression with this. This fragrance, I think, you know, it's a winter scent. Strictly winter scent, it smells really good, masculine. Very different, a bit on the pricey side. But it's worth getting it because it's unique right and uh, if, you, if you're not a Cristiano Ronaldo snob and stuff you, you definitely need to look at this so the fragrance and I'm wearing like two two four so this shower gel is pretty damn nice it makes your skin really smooth you know like it's, it's good quality stuff so it's not just some product they give you right so yeah setting that aside so I'll talk about this three all right here uh, the first one I want to talk about is the from the house of denim so denim house I have I actually been collecting the what do you call the aftershaves just because for collection purpose and I, I don't use much because as you see I don't shave that much I like keeping my beard because people say I look a bit more proper for my age because I look like too young and stuff God knows where that come from because I don't like that I like to look yeah, older I like to get that seriousness from my face so I also had the first time I bought it was this the black one all right I don't know the names and stuff I did review them talk about them this was this is this very nice smelling one then this is the original one, the denim original, I think. The names are not written here, that's just sad. Then I could, the boxes are there, somewhere there, down, down, down there. I have the box for all of them. So, yeah, this is okay, sorry, this is, yeah, the names are written. This is the original. The black one is called the uh, denim black, all right. I have the green, the green one is with my dad. I don't have it here. That is called the musk. And then I bought this, the third one, fourth one was this. I really wanted this, like, poof, this is very difficult to find. Like, uh, I tracked it down in Bangladesh, and I'm pretty sure in states and other places, um, this is not, uh, many places is not available. I think my good friend Matt, Mr. Matt C, uh, yeah, he's been looking for this, trust me. And then I'm really hoping he, you get it, one, one of the bottles, all right? So first of all, it looks amazing. I mean, the first of all, the thing, you just put it like this. Like, put it like it's the light. It looks amazing, right? The red, ruby red kind of a thing. And then, you know, it looks nice yeah the thing is yeah this is why i wanted it it's called fire this one is called fire it's written down here if you're wondering where is it is it's fire here so this one it's pretty different it's not as spicy as the original all right like the original is pretty damn spicy all right the thing is this one is a bit different okay then let me how does it smell my nose is almost like completely still blocked but i can smell it some from the left side today it smells very nice masculine <sighs> no how okay i put some on my hand it's like red colored so don't try to put this on your white shirt it's gonna leave a mark all right so yeah let's say it smells first of all a bit alcoholic because this i think definitely there's alcohol in this but it smells really good it smells really refreshing uh spicy uh very bright for the summer day so if you if, if you are also picky about your aftershaves usually i i suggest that People who shave, uh, use aftershave bombs, it's better for your skin. But if you like this kind of splash, a little bit, you know, <laughs> how do you call it? Like, 
it, uh, it gives you a little bit burning sensation, cools you down, and then it's, and it kills your, uh, the, if, you, if there's any, any uh, what do you call, the possibility of uh, like infectious stuff, you can use this, no problem, absolutely. So this is uh, solely for me, for collection purpose. I got this to complete my collection. I think there are a few more. There's a lighter blue version. There's uh, two, three other. So for me, so for now, I'm good with this. So it smells very, uh, God, I hate this flu. I can hardly smell it because I know this is this is pretty pretty nice smelling one and as far as I remember I'm talking from my memory recollection I'm, I cannot smell anything I, I put put on a lot by the way but you know it's not really working so anyway to so this one as far as I remember it's a little bit uh, if you can imagine like rhubarb feel a little bit of this red fruity feel and it's a bit spicy not as spicy and it's bright and I feel for the summer days, people who are living in the summer countries, this is this idea for them. So you can look into Denim's uh, Ruby, no sorry, Denim's Fire, you know. This is a very nice one and it's, I think, uh, made in uh, Italy. Yeah, it's made in Italy and 100 ml. So and the price for this, I think it's not that much also. I forgot the price already. So I think it's not that price. It's pretty much within your $10 or something like that or less, all right. So next one we're going to look at is... Uh, Let's talk about Ronaldo's legacy, all right? Since I, I also used this a couple of times when I, you know, like I had cut a few days ago. See here, here, I, I went and hit something on while I was going to the parking. There was this thing, you know, on the way I didn't see it in the dark. So boom, it hit me right here. I got cut. Doesn't look that bad, but yeah, I, I got pretty nasty headache from it. So I applied this there after uh, doing cleanup and stuff. This is pretty nice stuff, all right? So... What this smells like is, I cannot smell it now again, God, good lord, you know. <laughs> this one definitely smells because this is a byproduct of this. It came all in the same package for me. So, it smells a lot like the fragrance itself, which is very nice, dark, fruity, a uh, little bit leathery, very masculine, that kind of a smell. This one has the same vibe, except much lighter. It has that nice little top note of Cristiano Ronaldo. And the dry down, whatever you get, it's not from there. But the thing is, it has that vibe of Cristiano Ronaldo and... Uh, smells pretty nice if you just like to collect i think you can definitely go for the set which is going to cost you about five ten dollars more i think you should go get the fragrance the shower gel and the aftershave balm all right and uh yeah i reviewed it if you want to know how it this one smells like my, in my initial impression you can look into my initial impression for christian ronaldo the last one i want to talk about however is my favorite of the line this is this is German made. This is a, when you think of Germany, you know, first thing you people think is Jeremy, but Germany is much more than Jeremy outside the fragrance community. They are known for their, you know, German cars, people, their, their, their beers and stuff, their Oktoberfest. I don't know what else is there. They have a lot of uh, heritage and culture. So Germany is a big country. So in Europe, they are pretty cold also, I think. Yeah, it stays pretty cold. I've never been to Germany. I think my friend's been there. So I, I, I heard their stories. They said, I think at this moment, one of our group members, he's in Germany. He, he called me from Germany straight away, like direct. So I forgot his brother's name. But yeah, he asked me for opinion. The thing is, Germany, this is German main. This is Tabak, original. And the thing is, I, the box is not here. So anyway, this is actually a aftershave splash, all right? It's a very beautiful. Let me show you the bottle first. It's a very nice, white, milky looking bottle. And it's Tabak, original. It's 100 ml. Bottle looks really small. For 100 ml, I don't know how this is 100 ml. I mean, how this and this can contain 100 ml equal to amount of juice, but I guess it's surprising because sometimes I don't understand, you know, like David of Cool Water for Women, it, it's 100 ml juice, but bottle looks damn small, you know, compared to many other 100 ml. So anyway, I, I'm pretty sure marketing, <laughs> the, 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 it's, it's controlled, right? And it says, since 1959, this fragrance, tabak. I don't know how you say tabak, tabak, I don't know, but it's, it's a very old school classic. So there's aftershave lotion and uh, at the bottom you get your batch code. These are not, I think, I think as far as I know, these are not counterfeited. This is 100 ml at the back. Yeah, made in Germany and 3.4 ounces. And the best thing is, I showed this before once in my early, pretty early videos in Bangladesh. This one I talked about it briefly. So best thing is, is the feel. If you hear the sound, it smells, it sounds like ceramic. Very solidly built, like the German cars. That's one thing I noticed and the cap is very nice. I think it's uh, most probably glass or something. It feels like, I don't know. Okay, this one I can smell. The other ones I couldn't smell at all. This one I can smell. 
because it's pretty damn strong and it's very nice beautiful scent all right and it doesn't come with atomizer of course this aftershave splash splash means it's going to give you something like a uh, here so the juice comes out of here and i really like the smell of this this is pretty 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 awesome stuff so yeah so let's talk about it so this one since i went to malaysia like in 90s right 98 yeah december i went this was all over the market everywhere you go absolutely you see this it's it's, it's like a shelf it's like this huge 200 ml a bottle there's like a edt spray which i hear is pretty good i'm looking for it maybe i'll give it a try because i love the smell of this but the thing is i feel sometimes i want to like decant it and i want to use it as a fragrance because it smells really really nice very fresh this is a wet tobacco feel from it mixed with uh, i think notes of uh, citruses i think uh, there's uh, opening there's also lavender there's some good stuff there is definitely uh, some fruity vibe you know like there's a fresh fruity vibe somewhere uh, i forgot i saw i saw the notes i'll put down the notes also but it smells very very refreshing and when you, after you take a shave you know after you shave you put this on you're gonna smell like this for at least three to four hours so which is what really surprises me because after shades they don't last that much all right they're usually like for half an hour 15 minutes they work like a splash and that's it this one however hangs on to your skin for a long time very masculine very tobacco -y, and very hidden gem sort of a, uh, aftershave you need to look at this and keep this and maybe people need to talk about it you know i don't know if got reformulated and whatnot it smells really nice let me put some of it on actually thing is how do you put it on you just put it on some in your hand yeah like this and then yeah you know you put it like that all right so it, it's pretty masculine oh yeah oh yeah people talk about all spice and everything this one has a little bit musk in it i think a little bit vetiver in the dry down i forgot the top notes absolutely god this is just a little bit spicy up there oh there's pepper kick to this yeah definitely there's black pepper it smells very very nice i cannot detect something from the old days you know it's like a it gives you that clean manly uh after you take a shower very uh weekend sort of a feel you know like i don't know how to explain to you but uh, i like this i really like it and the price wise this is a bit pricey i think this one i paid a quite quite good price on this i think 20 25 dollars for this this bottle 100 ml i think you can get a pretty good deal and uh, i would try the edt out so the thing is this is tobacco has the tobacco feel <sighs> A little bit masculine and uh, the peppery very opening the the, the bright very uh, oh there is neroli in it yes i remember now there's neroli there is uh, citrus bergamot so you get a little bit florals also from it so yes it's a pretty nice composition if you haven't tried it there's no harm in trying right so if you are into aftershaves even this one can be used as aftershave splash it can be used as a fragrance itself if you like if you're living in colder country it would be awesome so for our country condition it's not choking or anything it's not that overpowering you can use it still so tabak original definitely i cannot say the company's name it's a uh, very difficult to say the company name you know oh my god it's just more and worse german it's not my cup of tea <laughs> i have to learn from jeremy <laughs> so yeah for the smell of it you know other ones i i didn't rank this one only to rank is just collection purpose something very usual uh but in my whole lineup i like the musk from the denim line the green followed by the I think original and then the black and the maybe least but not not least it's still nice but out of the four this one comes last for me but for this this is this is damn nice for the smell I'll give this 10 out of 10 there's nothing you know you haven't smelled anything so fresh yet tobacco yet manly and very very non-offensive sort of a masculine scent that lasts so yeah give it a try so for this I'll, I'll rate this very highly 9 out of 10 for what the product is People need to look at this and talk about it. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. I will. I hope I get better soon, and I have whatever few fragrances. I will finish them. Then let's see where it goes from here. All right. And uh, take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Good night.